For example, fishing trolls, they can snag and drag the cable, and ship anchors can accidentally hook onto the cable and snap it. So to mitigate these risks, the cable is buried underneath the seabed using a specialized machine known as the plow. Now this steel plow, which looks like a robot, can weigh between 20 and 30 tons. That's almost the weight of a fully grown humpback whale. Now after it's been lowered from the ship to the seabed, the ship begins towing it with a steel rope, similar to how a tractor pulls a plow on land. As the plow moves, the support structures, called skids, are adjusted to lower the plow further into the seabed to create a trench. A groove underneath the plow known as the cable guide then carefully places the cable inside the trench. Hydraulic arms control the skid's position, allowing them to adjust how deep the cable's buried. Now the plow's connected to the ship via an umbilical wire that transmits power and control signals. Since an extensive network of fiber optic connections already exists on the seabed, newly laid cables often need to cross over the old ones. Now at these points, the plow must stop 500 meters before reaching the pre-existing cable to prevent damage. Then, the ship slowly moves backward, rewinding the extra length. Once the ship reaches the plow's position, it's lifted 10 to 20 meters above the seabed. The ship then resumes forward motion, continuing to lay the cable on the seabed without burying the old one. Now, during this phase, the plow moves forward in a lifted position, suspended in the water without touching the seabed. When the ship reaches a point 500 meters beyond the crossing cable, the plow is lowered back onto the seabed to be able to resume the burial process. 